Hello everybody, thanks for joining me here on Mike's Thriller Car Guy, Mikey Tate here. Today, I had the opportunity to get up close and personal with the 2014 Cadillac CTS. Let's kick things off up front, where we see a striking new front fascia featuring a new 3-tier chrome trimmed grille, HID projector headlights with an LED trim continuing somewhat down to the bottom bumper, where the trim there serves as fog lights. There's a nice chrome trim down there as well. Behind the grille, the active Iro grille shutters automatically close to max out its aerodynamics when additional engine cooling is not needed. LED turn signal mirrors ensure that a car next to you knows that you're coming onto their lane, making lane changing safe and convenient for both you and the car next to you. This particular example sits on these polished 18 inch 15 spoke aluminum wheels measuring by 18 inch by 8.5 in the front and the rear. These wheels sit on standard 17 inch all season run flat tires. These tires can go the distance in a flat tire situation. You can still drive with a flat at up to 50 miles an hour with a medium load, so you don't have to wait for help. You can just keep going so that you can get back home in a flash, and then get your flat tire pumped, and you would be ready to go. <laughs> Very nice setup. As we continue the exterior tour, let's talk about the history of the Cadillac CTS. The Cadillac Catera was originally the entry-level vehicle in the mid-sized luxury vehicle market, from 1997 until about 2001. That is, until the Cadillac CTS arrived. The CTS is a mid-sized sedan that replaced the Opel Omega-based Cadillac Catera in 2002 for the 2003 model year. It has been in production since then, with up to two generations and three body styles created so far, including the sedan, the coupe, and a sport wagon. It marked the production debut of the art and science design language, which had its showing in the form of the Evoque concept car. It was based on the GM rear wheel drive Sigma platform, and is made to compete in the mid-sized vehicle segment, with the likes of the BMW 5 Series, the Lexus ES, the Infiniti G, the Audi A6, and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. With the ATS taking the CTS's spot in the entry-level market, the new CTS will serve its purpose as a rival to many vehicles in the mid-sized luxury market. Here in the back of the vehicle, we find these awesome vertical full LED tail lamps. They've been featured since the second generation CTS came out in 2008, and they return here for 2014 to ensure that you are seen from miles away. LEDs are very safe and energy efficient, so they'll last with the life of the car. That's a lot longer than a standard regular bulb. <laughs>
now that we've checked out the new exterior, let's go inside and check out the new interior. As you saw by the buttons located on each of the door handles, this example comes with Cadillac's Smart Key Access System, which allows for simple, easy, as well as secure access into your vehicle. Vehicles that come with this system feature a keyless remote fob that you keep with you when you approach the car. Then you can either press the buttons on the door to unlock and lock the vehicle wirelessly, or you can just simply use the buttons on the remote fob. While the exterior color of this example features the Silver Coast metallic exterior, inside the car we have a light cashmere leather interior with medium cashmere accents. Over here on the driver's door panel, it's all powered through here. Windows, locks, mirrors, you name it. We also have two-person memory for the driver's seat. It allows for two drivers to have their seats positioned to how they want it with just a single press of one of these buttons, one and two. As far as the rest of the door panel is concerned, we have a nice padded armrest accompanied by suede, chrome, and a black olive ash wood trim featured on the door as well as on the dashboard. Very nice touch. Down below is some small storage to keep your paperwork and some magazines in. Two-person memory is a sign that the driver's seat is fully powered, as you can see here. Just use these controls to set up your comfort position, and when you press either one or two, the seat will automatically adjust to yours or another driver's seating position, so you and the other driver don't have to set it up yourselves. <laughs> Talk about a time saver! Here we are inside the all-new 2014 Cadillac CTS. Starting up front, the three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with side bolsters has quite a bit of some piano black trim, accompanied by a bit of some chrome trim surrounding the three-spoke design. Going to the left, we have your gauge backlighting brightness wheel and your electronic parking brake that replaces a conventional lever. There is some small storage under the wheel. Going back to the steering wheel, we have the lever that houses your turn signals as well as the headlights. Here you can see the standard gauge cluster that Cadillac calls the base gauge cluster. Going from the left, we have the RPM gauge, otherwise known as the tachometer. On top of the 5.7 inch LCD screen that houses your driver info is the speedo. And over here to the right is the fuel and temperature gauge. Very basic, but if you want to customize the look of your speedometer cluster, and you want anything or, e or even everything displayed in one place, then check this out. Cadillac wowed the automotive world with its new configurable 12.3 inch LCD color display that is featured in the bigger Cadillac XTS. Now it is available on performance trims and standard on premium and V-Sport premium trim levels, all on the new Cadillac CTS. This pretty huge screen houses everything in one place from your speedometer cluster, your driver information, as well as your media and navigation data, or whatever you want to display. Just like the ATS, it comes with four different gauge designs and Cadillac has given each one a name, based on what it is used for. There are controls on the steering wheel that allow you to make any changes through the display. Let's start off with the balanced display, which serves as the default display. This is for those who want the look of a normal gauge cluster in an analog setup. The arrows in this photo tell the entire story. In the middle is your speedo. To the left is the tachometer. To the right is your vehicle temperature as well as your fuel. 
you can display anything within each of the gauges just like how it's done here. If you want to go in depth on your vehicle info and your driving dynamics, then the performance display would be a perfect fit for you. From the left, we have the vehicle temperature, your tachometer, speedometer, and the fuel. You can change what you can display through the menus below the tachometer. If you're a uber connected driver, then you might want the enhanced display. The web inspired layout displays your navigation map on your left. From there is your digital speed readout here in the middle, as well as your fuel thing on your right. You can scroll through pages of information by using the steering wheel controls. If you don't want to display a lot of stuff, then you might want a simple display. All you'll see here from the left is the radio info, digital speedo, and the fuel level thing. Additional information can be optionally displayed here as well. With these four layouts, you can have an amazing customized layout with all the info you'll need in one big screen. In my mind, Cadillac did a fantastic job with the layouts and the way they made it a whole lot easier to get to all the info you want to display on this screen. Now while this technology is limited to some certain vehicles such as this Cadillac CTS, the bigger XTS, as well as in the newer Land Rover vehicles, I'll most certainly be looking forward to seeing this expand even more to various vehicles soon in the many years to come. Let's make our way to the right, starting from the wipers column all the way out to the center console. While no manual transmission appears to be offered for the new CTS, there are two automatic transmissions available depending on which trim level you get. The luxury trim shown here can be had with either a 6-speed or 8-speed automatic transmission with manual mode that is activated by the button on top of the shift knob. From there, you can either use the shifter or the chrome paddle shifters that are mounted behind the steering wheel. Shift up is the plus and shift down is the minus sign. It's a whole lot better and convenient than a typical manual transmission in a sports car with a clutch. As part of the smart key access system I mentioned earlier in this video that comes with the car, there is no keyhole here. Instead, it is replaced by a button located to the right of the steering wheel. Starting it up is as simple as having the fob with you in the car. And then when you're ready to go, you can just put your foot on the brake and hit the button. Without the foot on the brake, you can toggle between off, ACC otherwise known as accessories, and the on position without the engine starting up. Down below the shifter is the traction control system and the Stabilitrack electronic stability control system. The system helps to limit wheel slip and thus gives you better traction and maintain control of the vehicle when driving on slippery and wet conditions such as rain, snow, or even ice. More information about this system is on your vehicle's owner's manual. Next to the shifter are two handy cup holders covered by a powered door that slides automatically. Awesome! <laughs> now down below is some small storage and a power outlet. Open up the center armrest door to find a really nice amount of storage space that has another power outlet. You'll also find an auxiliary input, two USB ports, and an SD card slot so you can play your favorite tunes stored on an SD card, a USB stick, on an iPod or iPad, as well as on a smartphone. The material in here is nice and soft. <laughs> I love soft stuff. Immerse yourself in the sound of music with Bose's 11 speaker premium audio system standard in the standard and luxury trim levels. While a Bose 13 speaker center point surround sound system is available in these trims, it is standard if you go up to either the performance, premium, or V-Sport models. Now while both speaker systems provide noise cancellation capability, the only difference between them is that the 13 speaker system gives you the home theater like music listening experience. It'll be like you're watching an actual movie in a movie theater. Cadillac's Q infotainment system featured here has an 8 inch touchscreen interface, providing media connecting capability, navigation, and many more. The center stack that the screen is housed in is all piano black, and instead of normal typical buttons, 
the buttons are touch sensitive. You don't have to push any buttons. Just touch or tap on any of the chrome buttons to make it selection. You'll feel a little vibration once you tap on it. Making our way up, we have a little console that houses your interior lighting, three rows of buttons that allow you to control up to three garage doors, the full powered sunroof, and the rear sunshade. Also up here is General Motors OnStar system that provides subscription based communications, security, hands free calling, turn by turn navigation, and remote diagnostic systems throughout the United States, Canada, as well as in China. For more information about this service, visit their website www.onstar.com or you could check out the Wikipedia article about this service. You'll find the microphone for the Q system up here on top of the driver's vanity mirror. What a nice interior. It's a huge step up for a Cadillac when it comes to the quality, safety, and technology features. Now let's go sit in the back seat of the 2014 Cadillac CTS. When back seat passengers want access to the vehicle, they can press the button on the door handle as long as the driver has the key fob and is with the vehicle. The rear doors have the same padding, wood trim, as well as a small storage space as the driver's and the passenger's side doors. There is a magazine slot behind the front seat. In the middle of the front seats are two vents that provide heat and air to rear passengers. There is a small storage cubby down below the vents covered in that awesome soft cloth material. Open up the door to find a power outlet and another smaller storage cubby. Pull down the pass-through door in the middle of the rear seats to allow for longer items such as skis to come through, while allowing rear passengers to sit back here. 
Now if you need more space for longer items, you can fold down the rear seats. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Meanwhile, the middle console features some storage for all of your rear passenger's essentials. And some cup holders. Wow, the rear seats are nice and comfortable to sit on. I've always been a huge fan of Cadillac's leather seating because of its softness and its superior comfort. One of the coolest things I noticed is the V-shaped chrome thing that is on each of the seats. It adds a nice finishing decorative touch to the seats. On top of the rear passenger and driver's side windows are LED reading lights, a handle, as well as hooks for hanging your clothes in. Just like I said, the rear seats can be folded down for extra cargo room. There's a small handle behind each of the seats that you pull on to bring down the rear seats. There's 60 by 40 rear split, so you could fit another person back here while carrying your cargo. I highly recommend folding the one with the middle seat, because you can fit more through here than you can with a single seat folded down. While Cadillac did not specify how much cargo room you'll have with the rear seats folded, they did say that with the seats up, you'll have about 13.7 cubic feet of cargo room. Some reviewers say it's pretty small, but I find it doable, especially since it's a mid-sized car after all.
The passenger seat is also powered. Same controls as the driver's seat. Aluminum door sills are a nice touch to your entrance and exit of the 2014 Cadillac CTS. Powering this 2014 Cadillac CTS is a 3.6-liter direct-injection dual-overhead cam V6 with variable valve timing. At 321 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque, it's surprisingly faster than the 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder, but not as fast as the twin-turbo one featured in the V-Sport models. Their aluminum cast cylinder blocks and cylinder heads cast inside the motor for decreased weight and better performance. And that's a wrap for the full walk around and overview of this 2014 Cadillac CTS. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank General Motors for bringing this Cadillac to my area and to the folks at the stand in the mall for allowing me to make this video. I look forward to doing more videos like this in the very near future. Until then, be sure to stay tuned for more vehicle walkarounds and overviews like this coming your way soon from me, Mikester the Car Guy. Until next time, this is Mike Tatek, a Mikester the Car Guy signing off and saying that'll be it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.